Welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be looking at the best ways to prevent weather damage. So this is an update to a popular old video I did for when reinforced glass got introduced. In the week 60 update for Icarus, the game introduced weather forecasts which dramatically changes the way your building takes damage now from different tier storms. Now there is a couple of caveats to this. If you're playing it on easy mode and you're on a very early mission for example, the storms won't be as bad but your structures can still take damage. Now if you're playing on hard or hardcore mode, obviously that's going to be on the different spectrum. It's going to be much more damage depending on what kind of resource you're using to build with. It doesn't matter what difficulty you're playing on and you can use a concrete as a building material and you'll not take any damage whatsoever now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the changes which were introduced in the week 60 update. So from left to right, there's thatch up to concrete. Thatch being worst, concrete being the best. Basically, let's not talk about thatch in this video because thatch is pretty much dead at this point. It's always been useless in my opinion. Next up is interior wood. Interior wood will not take damage at all in a tier 0 storm when it's calm, but in a tier 1 storm, it will start being able to take damage. Next up is wood. So tier 0, you'll not take any damage. And a tier 1, you'll not take any damage to any wooden structure in the game when there's a storm. But at tier 2 and above, you will start taking increased damage. Next up is the glass. Now the glass falls under two categories. Regular glass and reinforced glass. Reinforced glass is crafted on a glass working bench when it's hooked up to water. I've got a full video on that. I will leave that down in the pinned comments. So the two major differences is now is... Regular glass will take significant damage as it always did, but it will not take damage in tier 0 or tier 1 storms and it will now start taking damage in tier 2 storms and the reinforced glass variant will start taking damage in tier 5 storms. The damage is minimal to reinforced glass due to its reinforced traits it gets when it's hooked up to water on the glass working bench. Now you've got to take into consideration if you have reinforced glass in your build when you're on a mission, for example, or whatever, and you're a long way from your base, that can now take damage, which you never used to be able to do. So if one of your reinforced glass windows breaks completely now, and the wind gets into your base, and it can start destroying your workbenches, for example. Next up is aluminium. This falls under the same category as wood and glass. No one even builds in this to start off with. This still hasn't really found its place in the game. And next up is stone. This used to be pretty much the go-to material to build any structure within Icarus. But with the week 60 update, it now can survive a tier 0, tier 1, tier 2 and tier 3 storms. Now we'll start taking minimal damage in tier 4 storms. And lastly, we have concrete. Basically, concrete now is the go-to resource to build your entire base in. If you want to make 100% sure your base isn't going to take damage. All hope isn't lost though. You can create something called overhangs, which you can see here on screen, which will protect that part of the base from weather damage. This has always been the case, and it's never been more important than it is now. There is one downfall to this though now. The overhangs will only work at the best with concrete, as stone now takes damage from tier 5 storms, which was never the case before. If you are a new player to Icarus and you're not even remotely close to tier 4 to being able to craft and build concrete buildings, get used to repairing a lot and or living in a cave. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this update helpful and as always, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and comment down below if you found this video helpful. If you enjoy my content and you want to support me even more, you can go to my Ko-Fi and join them beautiful people which you can see on the right hand side of the screen now or become a YouTube channel member. As always, I'd guide everyone towards my Ko-Fi page as I can offer you some more perks there. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon.